Hey guys and welcome Asia Network again here another video tutorial and today is gaming theme okay what I'm talking about let's say you are playing games in window wet mode just like this you are playing and you figure out I do not want all those borders and window only I want this window wet screen converted to full screen without borders just like this one and today I am showing you how to do just that. So, as I said, I will show you, but before that I will also show you how to find it, download it from the internet, how to open it and configure it, so you can use it. Okay, before I do all of this stuff, don't forget to subscribe, click bell icon to get notified about new videos. If you like the video, give a big thumbs up, if you did not, you know, thumbs down. And of course, share with others so others can learn too. So, let's start! So, very first thing to do is to get the application. If you already have it, no worries, just keep this first part. Remember. All parts of this video can be found below this video in the description. Okay, if you do not have the application, there is a link below this video in the description. Just click on it and you will be redirected to the directly to the website of Windowed Borderless Gaming application. But if you want to search it, then just follow my lead and we will get to that website quickly. Let's open up some web browser, doesn't matter which one. I will just open up this Opera web browser, Firefox, Chrome, whatever you want. And in some search engine like google.com, you can just in search box just start typing window and I have automatically shown all the live results and I will just click the first one. You can also type whole name all three words and then press enter and you will get to the same window as this okay very first is window at borderless gaming presentechsolutions.net i will just click on it and we are on the same web page as we would just clicking inside the description that is it okay we are on the web page now let's go download the program. To download it, we need to click this button download or download now button. And on this web page when it opens just click download. Save it wherever you want. But uh, remember one thing, uh, in Opera web browser, mine Opera, it is set up that browser will every time ask me where to save this file. In your case, it is likely that web browser will download the file to default defined folder directory inside your web browser. But in my case, I will just save it to the desktop. You can save it wherever you want. And one another thing, I know that this is all in Slovenian language, because I'm uh, using Slovenian operating system Windows 10, but I will tell you all in English. Okay, Namizia is equal as desktop. I will just click on it and click save. As I said, you can save it wherever you want. Here it is, I can open it from here or open the folder where this file is currently residing, but I will just minimize this window because I do not need it. And here it is, this is the program archived file. Archive is basically when, uh, let's say, a represent folder and you have some files in, inside, sheets of paper, and that is the archive. So basically, multiple files stored in archive one file. You can use multiple programs to unpack this file. I, I will be using 7-zip, but you can also use WinRAR, WinZip, whatever you want. 
uh, for few different archive types you can also use integrated extraction program inside Windows 10 but in my case this archive Windows does not recognize so it will not be as possibility okay so I just right click on this file go to 7-zip or whatever program you want and just extract to to this folder subfolder okay and here it is basic basically the content of this archive file it is extracted to this folder so when I open it by double click or single click depending on your Windows settings there is three files inside license readme those are only text files you can view the information about this program but window borderless gaming.exe this is the program by itself so next thing I will just make a shortcut to the desktop so I can easily access the program I'll just right mouse button click on it uh, click on send and desktop create shortcut made shortcut something like this and here it is the program is here so I will close this window I do not need it and now let's just run the program so just double click on it or single click again depending on your window settings here is the notification that program is running and under the all the icons of programs that are opened that are, that have uh, icon inside the taskbar task <laughs> here it is window monolith game but what about if you do not have that icon nowhere here and you have this button arrow just click on it and this icon is over here So now it is the time to add the program, I mean <laughs> the game, to the full screen without borders, without window. To do this it is practically very easy. First let's open up the game, in my case I will open up Mafia the City of Lost Heaven. And next I will just click Alt Tab on the keyboard to switch to another window, with the mouse I will go to the start menu and go all the way to the right to the window with borderless gaming icon of the program. Just right mouse button click on it and click add window F3. And immediately after that click on inside the game and click F3. And the game goes full screen. As you see the notification came. Okay, that is all good and nice, but let's say you can also add window, you know, add window command before you enter the game and then run the game and then press F3. So before running or after run. The difference is that in some cases it may not work if you run command for new window before the game and you need to know that there is time limit while you add command and F3 that is time limit I believe it is 15 to 20 seconds I'm not sure but so that you know there is two problems with that okay so next is all about when let's say I close the game, close the laptop, uh, next day run the game again, while program is still running of course, and it is window wet. What now? No problem. Just click Alt tab on the keyboard and once again Alt tab together and window, I mean game, goes to the full screen. Now you know how to add it, how to fix this, not, not automatically switching to full screen. Next, next is all about the program itself. If you, I right click on the program, I get a lot of different stuff. Add window, we already know what it is. Then we have settings, we have game settings and global settings. So if we click let's say game settings, 
we have settings according to the specific game that you added to full screen. So currently I have only Mafia because I added only one. But if you have uh, several games, then you can select whatever game you want. You can name the game whatever you want. I can Mafia 1, let's say, or whatever I want. I can set the resolution of the game, offset, left, right, up, down. I can uh, set the manage the game, but I will not go deep into all this stuff. Just rename it and do whatever you want. And when you want to confirm it, just click apply and then OK. Let's go. If we go to the global settings, those settings are global for all program all games while when you add the game uh, then you can edit the specific game settings and in global settings you can select key bind what key to add the game you can select the resolution offset and so on there is a lot of different stuff you know okay and if you edited anything just click save and close Otherwise, you can also click cancel if you do not want to save whatever you did. But one thing that I haven't told you under settings is open config file. So everything that you save, that you edited and so on inside the program, all this is saved in config file. If we open up the folder where this program presides, now as you see there are four different files. On the beginning it was only three. So new file is config.ini. Inside this file all the stuff that you configured, uh, mafia setting and all this stuff is saved into this file. So you can back up this file or entire program. You can just copy it, copy it and paste it to USB stick, external hard disk drive to another computer, send it over the internet or whatever you want. So basically that, that is it for the backup. And next is here you can read the manual, go to a forum of this program you know, to check updates. If you want to, this program to run and start up uh, just make sure it is checked if you click on it uh, sometimes you need to click it twice to uncheck it but when you click it it will check if it is checked that means it will run when Windows starts if it is unchecked it will not run when Windows starts. simple as that uh, by, uh, by gameplay crash just a website, more information if you want to have it and so on. Yep, that is the end of this video. I hope you liked the video. If you have any questions, did not understand something whatsoever or just want to say hi, type everything below this video in the comment section. So until next time, have a blast and see ya. Bye bye. If you have any questions, did not understand something, want to ask me something, want just to talk, just type everything in comment section below. Don't forget to like or dislike this video, subscribe to my channel so you get notified about new videos, share video with your friends, co-workers and others so they can learn too, and have a great day, bye bye!